hello everyone welcome to our channel fusion station i hope you all are doing great all right so let's start this video in this video tutorial i will demonstrate you how to configure mfa in the sofas firewall and uh, how can we implement it for our admin account so to implement or enable the mfa for the admin user or account you will have to navigate to system administration and here you can select the device access and just scroll it down and there you will get the option multi-factor authentication for the default admin so by default it is in the disabled state and we are just going to implement it just turn it on and apply it after applying the mfa for the default admin you will get this otp token prompt for the admin user so here you will get the status first where it stated that no token is configured then after it is asking how would you like to continue to configure this otp token so you want to configure using the hardware token or the software token so in this tutorial we will configure it using the software token then just select that option and click next after that it will ask for the software token to validate it and at this stage we need to use an application any authentication application uh, with the help of which we can scan this qr code and after scanning that the qr code uh, an otp will be generated on your application and the same code we can define over here using the password and the format would be this one like if you are using the password as this then after that password you will have to mention the OTP code that is showing on your application to scan this QR code I am using a third party application uh, that is Google Authenticator so after scanning this QR code a verification code uh, will be generated in that application and the same code I will use with the uh, admin password along with the verification code so first of all let me just uh, just scan this QR code and add the OTP or the verification code in my application okay so I have scanned the code on my end now let me just uh, enter the admin password here and now I am just going to use the OTP code or the verification code which is uh, showing in my authenticator application so that code is 558597 so this is a six digit verification code so after defining the password along with the verification code you just need to click validate so here you notice that uh, after typing the password and the six digit OTP uh, we started getting this error message couldn't validate the OTP token so this error message occur uh, due to incorrect time settings or maybe the time is not correctly defined in the firewall or in our device where we have scanned this QR code so first of all uh, we will check the time settings in this firewall under this time section uh, you can check that uh, the current time so here you can see that the current date here it is showing as uh, 15th of April but if you will check the time status uh, on my Windows machine here it is showing the date as 16th of April so there is uh, discrepancies in terms of time so we will have to define the correct time in the firewall otherwise uh, we will get the error message uh, and our OTP would not be validated so let me just use this predefined NTP server settings so that uh, firewall can automatically synchronize with the exact time as per the time zone that we have defined so after defining this predefined NTP server just click apply and here you will get the prompt that changing the time and date may terminate your session so you may have to log in so you just need to simply click OK after applying this setting you will get this prompt the message uh, where the time settings has been applied successfully now let's uh, navigate back to this uh, 
device access settings and enable it click apply select software token next here you can define the password again and then after you need to define the verification code that is showing on your application so my OTP code is 0724456 and click validate after updating the time in the firewall settings still we are getting this error message couldn't validate the OTP tokens so always remember one thing if you have already scanned the QR code and then after updated the time settings and again you are validating the token using the previously generated OTP code in that case it will not work so the resolution is you will have to delete the previously generated OTP token and rescan this new QR code so that the time should be synchronized in the firewall as well as in the application that you are using for the authentication now i have uh, rescanned this qr code in my authenticator application let me just clear this password and the previously generated otp token in the authenticator app and uh, try to log in again with the same password but with the new otp code so now my otp code is 380620 now i'm just going to validate it so here you notice that uh, after scanning the qr code again but after updating the time basically uh, we just uh, got the new six digit otp code and mentioned with the password and after the validation it stated the message that uh, the otp token has been validated successfully so after getting that prompt just click apply and here you can see that uh, our MFA has been enabled for the default admin user. Once the MFA is enabled for the default admin, then just uh, select authentication. And from here, navigate to multi-factor authentication. On this page, uh, under the issued token, you will notice that the token has been issued for the username admin and uh, its status is showing as turned on once the token has been issued to any user whether it's a local user or an admin user all their token details uh, would display under this multi-factor authentication page so currently we have just enabled the mfa for the admin user that is why it is showing the admin user only let's log into this firewall again uh, using the admin username and uh, see whether uh, the MFA has been enabled for it or not. So let me just log out the user first and then after we will try to log in again. So here select the user admin and define its password. So let me just define the password as admin net1234. Copy it and paste it. So first of all, uh, I'm just going to log in without using any MFA just to confirm whether it has been successfully enabled or configured or not. So let's click login. Okay, so after the login, uh, we can see the login failed message. So it means it is expecting a, a six digit verification code along with this password so that it can allow us to access this firewall okay so my otp code is two four nine one four zero and now login all right so here you can notice that we have successfully logged in to our firewall using the mfa so this way we can configure the mfa for our default admin so that the only admin user can log into the firewall with additional security parameter that is multi-factor authentication in my next video i will cover uh, different scenarios uh, related to this mfa for example if you have uh, lost the device that you are using to log into the firewall so how to reset uh, the mfa and similarly we have different other scenarios 
where users report to the admin the user has lost the device or his device has reset and not able to log into the firewall services where the uh, verification code is required so these kinds of scenarios we will cover in the next video so please stay tuned and if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe till then take care of self have a great day goodbye